Welcome to this short yin yoga class focusing on backbending. And we will start right away in swings pose. So please come to lie down on your belly, placing your forearms out in front of you directly underneath the shoulders. And you can widen your elbows and palms. Think of lifting your heart by drawing your shoulders down and back. Breathing into your heart and chest. And if you feel any pinching or pain in your lower back here, you can walk your arms further out or you can play with taking the feet as wide as the mat to lessen the intensity of the pose. Otherwise, just be tall and lifted. Staying three full minutes in this pose. Let's press back up to hands and knees very slowly and be mindful of your lower back in this transition. The next pose will be melting heart on our knees, so maybe pat your knees with a folded blanket to make it extra comfortable. And then coming into a tabletop position. Keep your hand, hips directly over the knees, walking the hands out to the top of the mat as you melt the heart and your head down towards the ground. If this feels like it's too intense for you, you can use a block underneath the forehead. The elbows can come resting down on the floor or they can stay up, whatever feels best for you. Remember to find your edge. We're not seeking the deepest stretch in yin yoga. On a scale of 1 to 10, we want to stay at about a 5.
Notice if you tensed up in your shoulders or your neck. Try to soften and let gravity do the work. And come back up, slowly walking the palms back towards you, using arm strength to lift up. Adding a little counter pose twist, come to kneeling or a cross-legged seat. And then twisting to the left, right arm to the knee, left arm back behind you, opening your heart to the left side of the room. Always stay nice and tall in your spine. And then release, switching, twisting to the right side, left palm to the right knee, right arm behind you. Always twisting from a nice tall spine. And always just twisting as much as we can maintain a long spine. And release. We will come to a supported bridge pose. So before lowering down, make sure that you have one block within reach. Maybe remove the blanket if you had it. And then come to lie down on your back. Knees are bent and feet flat on the ground. And then press into your feet to lift your hips up, sliding your block or your bolster or pillow, either on the lowest or second level if you have the block, directly underneath the hips. Try what feels best for you here. I sometimes find that the block is not as comfortable as my meditation cushion. If you use a cushion, just make sure that it's a dense one. Relax your arms by your sides and take a few moments to settle here and find a comfortable, comfortable position.
Let's come out, lift your hips up to remove the block and then set your hips back down. Pull your knees into a chest and give him a nice big squeeze, maybe flex the feet and point them. Maybe gently move your knees from side to side to massage your lower back. Whatever feels good, you could always make small circles with your knees. When you're ready, meet me in Shavasana, straightening your legs, arms can go out to the sides, fully rest and integrate what we've just done, relax. Slowly begin to deepen your breath, wiggling your fingers and toes. And then pull one knee into the chest and then the other, giving yourself a squeeze. When you're ready, roll over to your right side, using your forearm as a pillow, left hand to the mat. And then keeping your eyes closed, gently press yourself up to a comfortable seat. Palms meet in prayer in front of the heart. Thank yourself for making it to your mat today. May you carry light and love out into the rest of your day. Namaste. Thank you for practicing with me. If you enjoyed this class, please remember to subscribe to my channel, like this video and share it with a friend. Practice again with you soon. Namaste.